Where is the growth rate of life insurance industry as it stands today? Uh, you, I'm sure, have a visibility on the life insurance numbers for the half year. Um, how is it post-COVID and uh, how do you see it growing further? So what is the percentage that we are at, like the growth CAGR? This life insurance in the country, if you see, you go by the enthusiasm of the companies and the people and all. Last year in March also you see the enthusiasm of people who were there for large and big sum assured insurance policies. So it is a business in progress all the time I can call it. So all the life insurance company are engaged uh, in the growth story and they feel confident that yes, we can grow in much more than double digit growth and all. And uh, there is a great acceptance uh, of the life insurance philosophy by the society. And it should be growing at a steady pace all throughout. There is no doubt about it. Okay, sir. Uh, so, also now with non-par, uh, the high-ticket non-par sales of 5 lakh, you know, a lot of pushback from the industry. Uh, do you believe, I'm, I'm, and most of them seem to have maintained some level of growth in the first quarter at least. So, what is the kind of response that you're seeing from the industry? Are they finding alternate aven avenues? Because I was having a conversation with a couple of other people from the industry on the life insurance side, and they said that we now need to sell more policies. Is that happening? And what is the IRDAI doing to now fill in this gap you know, the shortage that has been created because of the taxation of the high ticket policies now, the above 5 lakh. Uh, what are the sort of uh, things that the regulator is planning in that stead? You see, the life insurance industry has a huge scope. If you see only the term insurance part of it, as I was telling, the mortality protection gap. So in absolute term, uh, a figure has been calculated by Swiss Re, which translated in Indian rupees, is 1320 lakh crores. And if you ask anybody, yes, they feel that I should be having a protection policy. So that has nothing to do with uh, a lot of taxes and others. Even for less than 5 lakhs, you can have a huge sum assured. Because if you see, suppose at your age, if you take 1 crore policy, the maximum premium will be 25,000 rupees. Suppose if you take 10 crores, it will be only 2.5 lakhs. So it is much less than the 5 lakhs. But 10 crores will also involve a lot of underwriting issues. Because when... The insurer accepts a policy, it is based on the income level also and health parameters. So many people will not be granted that much of insurance also. So the scope is used. And suppose, uh, let us say, uh, 50 crore people, they have insurance of 1 crore. So that lessens the, uh, that rather reduces the protection gap. You get my point. So this is how the country should look at it. Plus, the life insurance industry has a great value in its endowment policies where people can plan both insurance and a targeted goal for a long term, uh, 20 years, 25 years, 30 years. Yes, non-par, as you suggested also, people can have more of guaranteed sort of thing over a period of time. ULIPs are a good option also. So it has got use scope. So apart from the taxation also, there are use scope. So uh, I think uh, we have not touched even 5% of that scope. <laughs>